Two weeks ago, I went out and got the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I thought it was going to be as simple as I would go get the shot and then maybe I'd be knocked out for a day or two and then I would be able to venture back out into the world and ride my bike with friends again for the first time in over a year. Well, I wasn't even going to make a video about my experience because I figured it wouldn't be a big deal. Boy, was I wrong because I did not expect the recovery time to take so long. Let me just start by saying I do not regret getting the vaccine, especially since now there are finally some races on the agenda. So how am I coping with it? To be honest, if I wasn't an athlete, I don't even think I would notice it was taking me so long to recover. The day I got the second dose was all fine and dandy until it was about time to go to bed and then I realized my arm was getting really sore. For two days, I could barely move my arm and I think I made a mistake by working out before I got the second dose. It was just an easy 30 minute run and 20 sumo squats. It could hardly be even considered a workout. That little bit of lactic acid that was in my muscles seemed to intensify the effects of the shot because for two days I was just incredibly sore. The third day after the vaccine I woke up feeling sort of refreshed and so I figured I was fully recovered and decided to hop on my bike on the indoor trainer but within a couple minutes my heart rate shot up to 169 and I wasn't applying any effort to this ride. To give you an idea of how crazy high that heart rate is, a ride I did before I got the shot. It's an easy recovery ride. My average heart rate was 121 compared to the ride three days after the shot where my heart rate shot up to 169. My average heart rate for that ride ended up being 145. I figured I'd better stay home and take it easy until I really fully recovered. My heart rate always seemed to be 10 to 20 beats higher than it should be, but it never shot up as high as that first ride back. So I thought I was recovering just fine. I had a sprint triathlon planned for that following Saturday. I didn't do any hard efforts leading up to that race so I wanted to test myself to make sure I was ready to do it so I did a short virtual race on the bike on Friday just to see where I was. I held back a little bit because of the race on Saturday but I was able to push myself hard enough to feel like I was okay to do the race the next day. And compared to my first ride back my watts were 165 so clearly those numbers show I was definitely on the right track towards recovery. I felt much better and I decided I was okay to race the next day. The race just felt awful from the get-go, but I thought it was because of the swim. But here I am, three days after the race is over, and my heart rate is still 10 to 20 beats higher than it should be at all times. And so then I was talking to a friend of mine who got the second dose around the same time as I did, and he's not experiencing the same symptoms as me, but he's said ever since he got that second dose he's had a headache. Now I don't have the headaches and I never felt sick. It was just a whole lot of fatigue and my heart rate is just way too high. It got me to thinking because every article online says that you may experience symptoms for two to three days after the second dose. But I haven't read any articles that say these symptoms may be ongoing. And to be honest I can't even be 100% positive this is completely attributed to the vaccine. I mean there's a ton of pollen in the air right now in Vegas. I guess it's always windy so that might have to do something or maybe it's a combination of both or maybe it's just a placebo that I'm using as my excuse for my poor performance as an athlete for the past couple of weeks. But the main point of this video is to hopefully just raise a little bit of awareness of what some people are going through when they get the second dose. For some people they're not going to experience any symptom but for some of us who put a lot of stress on our bodies on a daily basis it could take some time to recover and you should plan for that just in case. The lack of awareness on this topic has been a huge frustration for me. When will I be able to train at full capacity again? I don't know. I will definitely keep you all posted. And if you have been vaccinated, please let us know in the comments what your experience has been like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.